All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another SLG Meetup. Today we have with us Luciene Cofresi, and we are in this incredible building of Porsche Design Tower. We're actually in a garage surrounded by two emblematic cars. I'm very happy to have you on board, so welcome. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. It's always a pleasure to talk with you and show this beautiful building. Thank you, and just for you guys to know, Luciene, she's the VP of sales in this incredible project of the self development, and also from Armani Casa. We were the last week with Eduardo Cofresi, who is her husband, and now we have her that is gonna be telling us a little bit more about the insights on this particular project, about the current demand of real estate here in Miami, and some insights on how you're running the business. So. Tell us a little bit about this excellent project and where are we? We are at Porsche Design Tower. This is the first Porsche built in the world. Uh, Porsche is a very famous brand for doing cars and it's the first time that they use their technology, their brand to use in real estate. This is the most expensive product of the Porsche design brand. Wow. So you see cars that cost 100,000, 1 million, 2 million, but now you have apartments that cost 4 million, 5 million, 25 million, 32 million with the brand Porsche. So the brand has been proved that it's working on our real estate market. It's a whole way of giving identity for a building that it didn't have it before. Um, the organic marketing that comes from brands, it's been proved that works. Miami, it's a city that brings this trendy mm -hmm. to the real estate market. We, they start with Trump design. Trump was the first brand in real estate, away from the political side, was the first brand that was recognized as a tower as a brand. Right, that's and they true. did in San mm -hmm. the first time, it worked well for this developer, and then they did the, the uh, Porsche Design Tower, and now we're doing residences by Armani Casa, designed by George Armani. So it works. It's, it's really a, a nice, a nice a brand. Way. Yeah, it's a great way to expand the brand, and it's already an emblematic brand. So there is something about this building that makes it so prestigious. Not just the brand itself, but the concept. You can actually drive with your car directly to your living room. Yes, I mean, we're here. In surrounded by two amazing cars. You can have the absolute privacy because you drive it all the way here and then you're in this incredible unit, which by the way, we'll be touring after this conversation where Luciene is gonna be showing us amazing features on the property, which by the way, I was mind blown away on how amazing it looks. Yeah, it's the privacy of coming to your house without sharing the elevator with the other person, driving your car, to kind of a system that is automatic. You're not really driving. After you arrive in the garage, you turn off your engine and your car comes automatic. You have no carbon monoxide, you're not driving. The elevator will bring your car up, the door is gonna open, the platform is gonna slide this car in. When everything is off, you get out of your house, your car, it's, you are inside your house. It doesn't wow. get, you know, you're Batman. <laughs> you're Batman, right? It doesn't get any better than This that. is your bad cave. Your bad cave, no, I love it. And it keeps the colors also in the unit I was looking around and it has this design of pores, elegant, luxurious, black and white, yes. as well as the yes. combination. So yes. it's, it's very great. Yes. The, the pool outside too, because, so tell us about this project in particular. There is three models two facing the ocean, one facing the bay. Mm -hmm. These ones right here, they start from three bedroom and above. Mm -hmm. This one in particular, what is so amazing and unique about it besides obviously the I garage? Think for, yeah, you, first you have a two car garage inside of your apartment. The mm -hmm. conservation of your cars, if you're a car person, is much better under air conditioning than in the ocean breeze outside. So you come with this private garage with your private air conditioning just for the garage. When you go to your house, you have a beautiful apartment. This case is about a, a 3,000 square feet, uh, around 300 square meters. You have a private pool, you have an outdoor kitchen, you have three bedrooms, you have your private elevator. Um, the building has all this lifestyle with the restaurant, with the pool, with the beach service, with the spa. So it feels like you were in a hotel in a resort, but mm -hmm. it's private. You don't have the in and out of guests. You right. have the super level services. It's a nice lifestyle. It's not bad at all. Uh, and I like what you mentioned because this is something that you usually don't see, a pool in your terrace. Yes. <laughs> I mean... Before only penthouses apartments could think about having a pool in your apartment. And we live in a city that you spend so much time outdoors. We have right. such a beautiful weather. We have sun almost 300 years you know, 300 days in a year, you have to be enjoying the views, True. the weather. 
So the pool makes a lot of sense. Um, it's heated, you have the jets, you have a space that you can be looking to the ocean, enjoy a glass of champagne, having you know, the kids. It's a nice pool, it's 10 by 15, three by five meters. You have about an 800 square feet balcony, which is around uh, 75 square meters balcony. So it's almost like your mm -hmm. balcony, it's your patio of your house. You have Seems a barbecue, like it, yes. you have a pool. Um, it's just what and you I think, think that about. Also, when you have a terrace, which is now, now considered a patio because it's you know over a thousand, almost thousand square footage yes. of terrace. You have your pool, your dining area, your barbecue. It actually gives that breathing that people were seeking when all this pandemic you, started. Yes, so you can great. do your whole gym outdoors. Mm -hmm. You can do your whole routines of workout, just having the fresh air and doing your stretching, right, free weights. Yeah. yeah. So we all need that outdoor break and just to <laughs> smell the ocean. Uh -huh. You know, that's sure. the beauty of living on the beach. And there's so. not that many residences here in this building. No, no it's a small building. It's so considered very boutique. It's uh, only 132 apartments. Mm -hmm. So we do have three and four bedrooms. After the 40th floor, we put a four, uh, two apartments together. So we make 9,000 square feet, which is around um, 750 square right. meters with four car garage. So those are the lower paint houses. And the rooftop, we have a four uh, level paint house with 11 car garage. Oh, that's <laughs> that's crazy, right. no? Which by the way, I mean, this building obviously is very exclusive and only a handful of people can afford to invest in yes. such properties, which yes. makes it very elite. Um, you know, I think that's what makes it so special. Yeah, I think uh, our buyer uh, seeing everything, travel the whole road, mm -hmm. and you know, it's always what is next. Right. And uh, if you like cars, if you like privacy, it makes sense. Makes sense. You know, it's it's nice to what be are able some to. Of the, what are some of the people that have currently invested into this that, you know, might seem recognized or? Yeah, I think the celebrities, uh, when it comes to privacy, and even regular people, you know, just be able to walk in a building without being seen, it's a privilege. Right. Love it. And now with what we've been facing, because obviously we've seen both sides of the coin at the beginning, the uncertainty, especially in the condos, you know, people were getting away from condos, going into single family homes. Now we're starting to see a higher demand towards condos. So what is it exactly that you've experienced when it comes to condos and specifically in this building? We are speaking English now. <laughs> <laughs> we have the Americans in our market. I'm from Brazil, so we speak a lot of Portuguese. In, in Spanish in our market and it's the first time I think uh, and lately that we have with so many countries not be able to travel we have a lot of international clients in Miami and this season with COVID we are doing better in our real estate market than we did before because if people can work from anywhere in their homes you, your home it's better to be looking to the ocean than being in a crowd city on the snow. You yeah. know, if you have the option, where do you prefer to work from? You know, I prefer to work facing the ocean. You have this family business, the Cofresi Group, which I really admire. You are Thank phenomenal. You. I mean, by the way, guys, this is the definition of kindness and hard work. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate all of you in the family, but I'm sure that it also comes to times where working together might be challenging. So what are some of the I think pros working, and cons? Work is challenging. Well, that's true. Work is challenging. Work is work. It's not mm -hmm. entertainment. So it's better to work with people that cares about you, that loves you, that wants the best for you, than people that wants to steal your business, take your clients, and they're just thinking what they can do to hurt you. Mm -hmm. So the beauty of working with a family, one that is love and people that care for you, and I love a lot of people around me, even if it's not my family. True. I really love to work with people that are good people. When, but it's not always like that. So it's nice to be able to the end of the day or to whatever happens with the day, have somebody that is there looking through your back and sharing the experience, understand what you're going through. And we all try to work in the same goal. You know, we work for our personal goal, but we work for the same developer. We always are faithful to the developer, getting the best deal for him, promote the building the best way that we can. And that's what we've been doing for the last 20 years. I think that's one of the key elements to be successful in this business you have to have the willingness to work with people, to care about people, and it really reflects. So having somebody like you, along with your family, brings such positive vibes that whenever you're looking for a property, it makes it more special. 
So and everything that you do with passion works better than without passion. So whatever it's your oh, business, yeah, if you love what you do, if you put your heart, and it sounds like a cliche, but it's true. You know, if you're doing something that you're not enjoying, maybe you should not be doing that. Just because that is always something that touches your heart as a person, that when you do it feels pleasure, feels right. Indeed. So for me, I don't know what it is, but I love people <laughs> and work well in sales, you right. know? Like, I don't know what is my special talent in this world, what I was born to do, but I just enjoy to be with people. And consequence of that, you know, I have great relationships with my co-brokers, with my clients, and how bad can be this business? You're dealing right. with somebody in the best moment of their life, they're buying a vacation right. home, change home, selling what they bought it, moving to a bigger place, you know, getting divorced maybe, that's life. You're just having another chance to be happy with another way of living. So it's nice to be part of that, see the transition, see the kids growing, see the families getting married, so the grandchildren born. And so we, we deal with families and it's a long relationship and I enjoy to see that transition and, and be part of their wow. lives. And that's so important, you know, you, when you touch somebody's life through homes, because I believe that what you said is completely true. This yeah. is a transition, you know, when people buy a home, it's a big special moment, whether it's because of their upgrade or their downgrading, yeah, change downgrading, cities. whatever the case is, it's always a special moment. It's a transition in people's life that touches a lot of with what is important for you, how much clothes you have, what cars you drive, and how much you like to Some see Porsche, people. Porsche yeah, Porsche you know, if you're a Porsche right? person, you're in the right building. Yeah. Oh, actually, we Any don't car. discriminate, exactly. exactly. You I mean, can have a Bugatti and we still take you. We've seen the ones with the Rolls Royce. <laughs> yeah, we take Rolls Royce, Ferrari, it's also, look yeah. Very nice. But the pressure is all, no? People are watching what you're driving, you see the car elevator through the lobby, mm -hmm. you see, you know, the car so it makes you feel normal. If you're a car person and you like the craziest car in this world, you're going to find all the crazy people that have, you know, amazing cars. Yeah, and you beautiful. have regular people that could not care less for the car, but they like the lifestyle, they like sure. the building, and they like, you know, what Porsche mm -hmm. has to offer. No, well, that's great. And um, we'll definitely give a little tour yes, of let's property. Walk. It's going to be very nice. But if you want to share some takeaways on what have been some of the key elements that you could share that have made you so successful in this industry? What would it be? I think uh, being honest, it's something that you can take a long way in your life for anything that you do because it shows with the time. Sure. Honesty is something that you cannot just tell people. You prove with the time, with showing how well you can do with your trust, with trying to get the best deal for both parties, to telling the truth always, to be faithful to your brokers, to your clients, to the people they deal with, and that people will follow you in the good right. days and the bad days. So that is, you know, the markets comes and go, money comes and goes, and the markets goes up and down, we live through. But when you have good people and people that support you, that you do good, these people are the first ones to bring their clients, to support your business, to, you know, Put the likes in your post and <laughs> call when you have a new listing and always call you first because they want to deal with you besides somebody else. So I think that made us, the support of the community makes us successful what we do. And we give back the same way I for the developers, it. for the clients, for the people that we do. And it's just a nice chain of, you know, doing good stuff, you know, and make money. At the That's end of the great. day, we're here to make money and to do better for our, ourselves and give the best deals for the buyers and for the sellers. So That's great. And I guess like when you are able to have this win-win situation, you know, where everybody's happy at the end of the day, that means that you're making it right. Yes. So those are great takeaways. I believe that going with the honesty up front to really care about what you do, showing your passion, and really and caring. And tell the truth what you mm -hmm. have. You, you know, whatever it is, if you tell and explain the truth, you're always going to find there's things that doesn't sound amazing, but if you really tell what it is and explain the good and the bad in the same way, and it takes much easier to deal, you know? You know what you're dealing with. It's always easier to know what you're getting, what you're buying, what this comes with, you know, all the things that it has with, involved with a purchase in a relationship, in a business relationship. I think that's... Absolutely. I think those are great ways of wrapping this up because we're going to go right now do a little tour on the property, which I'm very excited about showing it to you guys because it's probably one of my favorite units in all this area just because it's so unique just besides the entrance through your private garage but also the outdoor area with the pool the amazing bedrooms and yeah, we're gonna go do a little tour please make sure you follow Luciene and also Cofresi group and everything they're doing Thank I you. really believe that you guys are changing people's lives through real estate which is not easy 
and it's a pleasure to have you here. And Thank you. It's I look forward to definitely expanding together. Great. Thanks for having me and thanks for talking with me and coming to see the project. It's always a pleasure. Of course. Thank, Thank you, you guys. Go. I'll see you next time.